I tend to get a lot of compliments on my sins, which is the highlight of my life. And I thought I'd make this video for anyone who may be curious or interested in making their sins look similar. So I'm just going to go through and show you what I do on a regular basis when I'm making a sim. The first thing I like to do is just strip them down of any clothing, accessories, makeup, and even the hair. This way I can truly see what I am working with and it kind of just turns into a blank canvas for me. I always like to start off with the head slash face, specifically the skin tone. Now sometimes I'll choose one out but I'm not really feeling anything in particular so I use the randomization tool. I like to use that tool all the time. I use it when I'm trying to find the features for my sim. It just really helps make my sims look different. I kind of just go around doing that to every single feature on the sim's face, the brows, the eyes, the nose, and the lips. After I find a combination I haven't really used much before, I tweak the features. Sometimes the color combinations with the randomization tool can be kind of wacky. I mean, we got a really nice one for this sim, but I think I will change it to this blonde color because I do like that better. This is kind of just where I freehand things. I like to play with the size, with the angles. Same goes for features like the chin, cheeks, and jaw. Sometimes I like to make their cheeks look bigger if they're supposed to be younger. I also like to just grab their head and do things to it. It might look weird at first, but these are really the things that I like doing with The Sims faces and it makes them look a lot different. So it's really just a game of continuously adjusting the features to look more and more different from what you started with. The cheekbones make a big difference too. I also like to go into detail edit mode and use this amazing slider mod. This makes your Sims chin look so different I also like to use this slider mod for the eyebrows. I do have a video on all of my slider and create a sim mods. You can find that on the top right corner of the screen or in the description down below after you watch this video. Something to definitely not forget about is the ears. I mean, you can play with these too. You can definitely make your sim look different with that. I just like to play with everything. I like to not be scared of of changing things or making things bigger. Next up, I usually move on to the skin details. This is the second part where I go crazy. I kind of like to go crazy just playing with the mold of the face. But here I just like to add the skin overlay first. So mind you, I have a skin overlay on my sim right now. It's a default one, but I always do like to go in with a second one and I'll just choose the skin overlay depending on my sim's features and what I want them to look like. So I really do like like this one on this sim. Another thing I love to add is the eyelashes, of course. I kind of just like to go through and see which ones suit the sim the best. Just adding a ton of different things that you would imagine a regular person having on their face. I like to not get scared of quote unquote imperfections like moles and freckles, and I actually kind of run to those a lot. I really like them. When I'm making a sim the best way to describe it is I like to go for anything and everything. <laughs> I also use eye bags a lot. Now this can definitely change your sims look a lot despite it being a tiny little detail. For young healthy sims I typically go for this one and this one but let's just say if I want my sim to look tired I try to make them look tired. It really just depends on your sim story as well. You'll see me using this contour a lot. I quite like it. So this is a common one I use on my sims. I kind of just like to add more and more until I can't anymore. See, like we've reached the bottom of our skin details, so I can't really add anything else, but I love how my sim looks. Something else I don't really like to forget about a lot is the teeth. Kind of like the ears, it's just a very small detail, but it can truly add to your sim story. I love adding the braces for teenagers, for example. We'll go with these for this sim right here. One 
once I'm done with the face, I do like to move down to the body and I kind of just do the same thing that I do with the facial features. I like to randomize. However, I do have some body presets right here, which I really enjoy using. This one in particular, I really like the hip dips. It just adds a sense of realism. Something I do very often to my sins is straighten their back. Unless their background story is forcing me to do otherwise, I will always straighten their back. You will never see one of my sims like this. <laughs> I just cannot stand that, even though that's how I'm sitting right now. And then I just kind of like to play with the size again. I like to use the sliders a lot. I like to just make things bigger, smaller. That's really just how I do it most of the time. Then I move down to the skin details for the body. I love skin details. Details, I just love them. I do, if they have freckles, I like to kind of just bring it down to their body area as well. I really like to add stretch marks and birthmarks. I kind of just like to go crazy again with this. And for the most part, that's it for the base of the sim. And then whenever I do want to, I go over to these other categories like the leg hair and other hair, back hair, torso, and I just add whatever I want. The only body scar I ever use is this one. This is the C-section one and the one that is only on male frame sims, which is for breast augmentation. I'm not really one to go for these types of scars. I'm not really an occult player, but they are cool occasionally during Halloween and stuff like that. Something I do like to use a lot is medical wearables. When they added this category to The Sims 4, I was very excited. I really like having things that help us represent more types of people in this game. We also have that category up here in the face, and I know you've seen me use the hearing aids a lot. So the medical wearable section is just really one of my favorites. When it comes to the hearing aids, I give them white ones until I come up with an outfit and then I choose a different color that goes better with the outfit if I want. Next, I like to start on the hair and this is kind of very self-explanatory. We've already gotten through the most important part in my opinion, which was making the Sims genetics. I like to just find a hair that suits my Sims face shape and is kind of like the vibes that I'm going for. I really like this one on her and I will change the color of it to this blonde. And for the most part, that's really it. I mean, the rest that comes after this, you see me do all the time. I add any hair accessories, then I look for my Sims outfit, and then when I'm done with the main outfit, I go in with some accessories, including the fingernails. This is usually the first accessory I get into. So I do dress my Sims in anything and everything, but I do love to work with a ton of color. I love pastels and bold colors. I do stray away from that when I am making sims that have a specific aesthetic. Kind of like when I made goth sims. I just kind of do whatever I'm feeling for that sim. However, this is my favorite style. So the go-to makeup that I usually do is a blush. I really like this one and this one right here. This one is my favorite because as you can see through the rips and the pants, it adds blush to the knees as well and the elbows, you just can't see it. And I typically don't have it be this strong. I like to tone it down to a more natural tone. I tend to go for lip gloss a lot instead of lipsticks, but again, it really just depends on the sim and their outfit. Today, I do wanna go for a lipstick like this one. I do eyeliner and this is just kind of the most common look I do for makeup. I do like to add eyeshadow to it. Something I also add a lot is the earrings. However, the sim is wearing hearing aids so we can't add it. And a necklace, but the sim is wearing like a high neck 
top, so I'm also not gonna add a necklace this time. I like to add something on the head, whether it's a hat or some glasses. We can add seeing glasses, kind of like these right here. Those are so cute, or some shades. I like those as well. And then something I do a lot is also put the shades on the head when I feel like the top is kind of bare and needs something. For this sim, I am going to go for these seeing glasses. I just think it looks too cute on her. I do also like to add hat or headphones. It's just a thing I do all the time. However, it is clipping or doing something weird with the bag. And that is it. That's how I create my sims. Here is the one that we created today together. And that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I hope that I was able to help you make your sims more to your liking or that I was just simply able to entertain you today. If you want to see all the creative sim mods that I have in my game, you can find that video in the description down below. If you want to see all the skin details and presets in my game, I will also leave that video down below in the description and right on the next screen. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and I will see you later.